In a few of your spare moments, this record will help you master the coveted art of calling ducks with a duck call. Your instructor, Philip E. Olt, believes that knowing what to say and when is more important than how you say it. We'll confine our instructions to the calling of mallards because others of the puddler class, pintails, baldpates, godwells, teal, and broadbills, respond consistently well to mallard calling. Let's pick up a duck call and place the end of the call firmly in the fork between the thumb and first finger of the hand so that the end of the call rests against the center palm of the hand. Now, place the mouthpiece in your mouth with the lips partly covering the end and blow these words, cack, 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 cack. It is helped and controlled by the tongue and the lips with the breath coming from as deep down in the chest as possible and exerting a strong breath pressure against the call. That, of course, is just the elementary procedure in making the key tone of the various calls which make up the wild duck language, and sounds like this when applied to the duck call. <coughs> now suppose we start off and give you the first of the three essential calls in the correct sequence used in working a flock of ducks off quite a distance, clear to the point of settling them down in the decoy. Each call will be given twice for clarification. However, in actually working a flock of ducks, each call should be repeated as often as necessary as indicated by the reaction of the ducks. Now, the first call to use is the long call or greeting call and should be made only to ducks at quite some distance away, but should never be given when the ducks are in close. The second and next call to use will be the come on in or come on back call, which is given when the ducks are about 200 yards off and coming toward the decoys, or immediately after they passed over you and going away. Note carefully the full-voiced quacks of this call that ducks always make on water when they're happy and neighborly, like this. Now the third and last call to use is the feeding chuckle when the ducks are in close. It's the confidential chatter of a hen mallard mixed with an occasional optimistic quack, 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 and is the most seductive call of all. It is made with the help of the tongue as you blow the words ticket, 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 softly and very rapidly like this. Now, if you will please turn to part two on the other side of this record, we will take you with us in a duck blind.